Good morning and welcome back. A very warm welcome to Harris Casino here in Atlantic City in New Jersey for the Kamui WPA sanctioned Women's World Nine Ball Championships 2023. And our second match of the day, well, if it's anything like the first one, we're in for a, a, another great uh, hour or so of entertainment. Savannah, the roadrunner, Eastern against Kimberly Cullen all the way from New Zealand. So they've lagged off, ready to break off. It's nine ball, so it's no call cool shots. But once again, calling the shots in the booth with me, Mr. Antonio, Juan Antonio Robles. That's right. How are you, buddy? Good to be here again. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the first match, I, we've spoken so much about, you've spoken so much about Savannah, but I've actually never had the opportunity to watch her play. So this is my first time, so this is a treat for me. Wow. Well, I think you're going to be quietly impressed by the young 12-year-old from Las Vegas. Plays out of a local club, banging balls. Mum and Dad are in the audience. We're going to be seeing them at some point, I'm sure. Overcut there. Early nerves, of course. I wonder if she's got jet lag. She's come a long way for this, Tony. Yeah, New Zealand is pretty far place. <laughs> so I've got to kick this. Oh, no, she hasn't. She could see it. Avoided the double kiss as well. Oh, avoided the scratch as well. I think there's an edge there, Tony. So just to let you know, guys, we're playing race to seven. Winner breaks. It's one on the spot. No three point rule because we're not using a template. We're using the triangle. 30 second shot clock. And your referee for this one is Dwayne Payne. Dwayne, bring the pain. There's a gap through to this, Tony. There he is. Let me see. There's Dwayne Payne. He loves his pull, that guy. All right, I get to see Savannah shooting. Yeah, so let us know your early thoughts, Tony, when you've had a chance to... Over here, she's going to have to draw one rail, cross town, play the six in the same pocket. Yeah, I had a nice chat. Wow. I had a lovely chat with Savannah last night about cues. She used carbon fibre, the, the Revo, before. She's just swapped, and she was speaking like a, like a veteran. She said she loves the feel that she gets with this new Predator Z shaft. And feel, oh, she can put, feel she can put the ball on the button. And she's certainly showing that in this first rep. Yeah. And I love to hear such a young person talk about feel for the game, for the shots. And I agree. Perfect it, it, position. As we were saying earlier, it's truly amazing how mature these players are at such a young age. Look at that, look. Absolutely yeah. perfect again. Hasn't been an inch out of prime position so far. It's just, I can't get over the fact that she's only 12. That's what's, uh, it's, my mind's like kind of screwed up a bit. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, finished a, just a little bit short on this. Would have liked to have come down a little bit further. She's not the tallest of players, of course. Got some growing to do. Yeah. Mm. Flicked off the top of the white there. That might be why she missed it, because she was reaching for it. Yeah, stretching. The cue came up, didn't it? I saw on that. Let's have another look, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, cue came she up. She was on her tippy toes. Yeah. Wasn't an easy chance as she fluked it, no. So it's going to be over the hole. So Savannah has to get focused and focus quickly and stamp her authority on this first round match. And in it goes. So 1 0. Referee Dwayne just making sure that the players don't put any balls on the table, Tony, until the cue ball has stopped. How do you feel about that particular rule? I mean, the cue ball's going nowhere near a pocket, and th does it matter? Or how do you feel about that? I mean, I, I, I think that if it's not going anywhere near a pocket, you shouldn't be penalised. But I understand the rule because so many times throughout the years I've seen someone actually stop a rolling cue ball near a pocket. And I've seen people get in, in argument, into arguments because of that as well. In tournaments, money matches, so 
I, I understand what, where they're coming from with that. So they, in order to keep it consistent, they have to call it regardless of where the ball is going just to make sure that they keep the rule itself consistent. Yeah, good point. And she is proudly wearing the emblem from New Zealand. Do you know what they call New Zealanders? They're what, what? They're Kiwis. Oh, the Kiwi. Yeah, the Kiwi Kiwis. is their national bird. Not the fruit, Tony. Mm. I know, I, I, you're partial to a bit of Okay, I was about to say I fruit. love Kiwi, but not that kind of Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't eat that kind of Kiwi. <laughs> it's, a, it's an offence. <laughs> so, rack number two then. Things starting well for Savannah. Corner ball went straight in. Yeah. Showing her experience, even at such a young age, playing a decent safety shot. Something we didn't see Cheska Centino do earlier, Tony. She went for everything, didn't she? Yeah, she still managed to win the match. But uh, I was just talking to a couple of friends like 20 minutes ago about about that. If Cheska slows down, she's going to be like almost impossible to beat. Yeah. What a great hit that was. And they say, mm -hmm. if you hit the ball, you've got every chance of something good happening. And she did yeah. hit it really, really well, Tony. Caught this perfect look. As yeah, and Billy Cardona's famous words, Mark, he said, did she really get lucky or did she get rewarded for having the knowledge to hit the ball? Yeah, good point. Over here, I, I, I would prefer to just kick this softly. Oh, Savannah with another opportunity to run out here. Let's see if the six ball ends up getting tied up with the eight. It did. So the question is, does it go to the side pocket, the left-hand side pocket? And if it does, it's not going to be easy to get there. I think it does go. Yeah. She can always play a safe either on the five or, or the, 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 uh, the six. It all depends on what her thought process is at this point. See, look how far she has to place the cue ball only to make sure that she can reach it. Right? Yeah. But by placing it at that angle, she wound up on the wrong side of the five. But, yes. she, like I said, she can always go across the table and shoot a stop shot on the six ball, leave her behind the eight. I think she's looking at playing a big shot here. Yeah, looks like she's looking to stroke this one in. Hold on to your hats. Here we go. Extension called. Each player 30 seconds for an extension. I mean, to have a little she bit could more avoid time. the scratch mark. I like hitting this with high, a little bit of left, and shorten the angle coming off the long, the short rail, and then playing the six in the in the side pocket. She's going safe, I think. Yeah. Oh no, she's played it oh, in the other the corner. Other way, yeah. Not a bad shot. It's actually a, a clever little shot there. Yeah, caught it a little bit thick, didn't she? So she took a lot of the pace out of the cue ball. It's okay. She so left a shot though. Proudly wearing the stars on her back. I think it's so fantastic that Savannah's parents are always here and are bringing her to all these events. Wow, look at that great what shot. What a right shot there. this is. Wow. What a shot this is. Wow. Perfect. I mean, she got stone cold perfect on that one. There, there's Savannah's parents right there. There's Larry. Get off your phone, Larry, and watch your daughter play. And this is watching and <laughs> listening to us online, maybe. Who knows? Mum, Tiffany, from the Philippines, actually. Oh, nice. Of course, she's got... Yeah, they're lovely people. I got to speak with both of them. Well, she's got the Paul DNA running through her veins, hasn't she? So she's passed it on to... Mm -hmm. Little Savannah. I don't think she gets that from Dad. Oh, Ooh, dear, yeah. that's a poor miss. Shouldn't be missing that one, Savannah. She knows that. And she got so perfect on that eight ball, too. But that's kind of almost the same case. As look at that shot, that position shot that Kimberly hit. Oh, well, Keep a little short on that one. Yeah, she caught it I'm a bit have to thick, come with a nice long shot here. Very nice. It always takes a while to settle. 
Doesn't get to play in arena like this many times, I don't think. In it goes. So we're level at 1-1. One, one. First round here of this year's Kamui sponsored WPA sanctioned Women's World Nine Ball Championship. And it's live from the beautiful Harris Casino. There's Savannah. You ever watch, uh, I, I watch a road runner growing up. Wiley Coyote. Yes. <laughs> it's the one that used to chase. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, awesome. That never learned, did it? That coyote. <laughs> never <laughs> learned. Never he used learned. to draw these plans yeah, you <laughs> know, <laughs> to try to build traps for the road runner. How Very creative. How many times did that rock break that he was standing on? <laughs> <laughs> well, the dynamite didn't go off and then until he, of course, went there. And all of a sudden, bang, <laughs> blew his head off. <laughs> so, rack number three. Kimberly to break off. And she will have settled down after winning that rack. They say you never settle, Tony, until you win a rack. Mm hmm Let's have a look at her play. Gave him a good whack. Made the wing ball. One's on the way to the corner as well. Will it hold up? It has. She's got a shot on this, Tony. Yeah. Cue ball still spinning. She might even be able to go rail first to go around the five and, and play position for the two in the same corner pocket there. Oh, the well, two goes in the corner. Yeah, yeah the two, two goes, goes in, in the corner. corner. The three isn't even blocking it. Yeah, no need to do that yeah. if it goes. Don't do unnecessary heavy lifting, Tony. Nope, none. That's right. My former coach. My former coach's famous words. Buddy Hall. Was oh. it? Was it Buddy Hall? No, Buddy Hall says, I always do what comes easiest. Oh, that's when right. When you're playing safe. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to put your opponent behind a, a ball every time because sometimes it's just not possible. Yeah, she took a... I think she went the wrong way to get to the two there. Almost, tried to almost, go around. Yeah, almost executed a little double bubble there. Playing for big money, these girls, $30,000 to the winner, 20 to the runner-up. This is serious business. Yeah, it's such a great, great prize money, it really is. For a 64-player field? Uh, big thanks to Kamui, I actually met Masato the other night, he gave me a couple of tips as well. Stop commentating, was one of them though, wasn't <laughs> Just needs to slow it down just a little bit. Are you impressed with this new arena, Tony? What's that? Are you impressed with the new LED arena? Oh, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I just can't, I can't get over the fact that Savannah's still 12 because she's she's competing at the at the world level, at the elite level in the world stage at 12. I started playing pool when I was 13. I didn't start. I didn't play in the Junior World Championships until I was 17, and I wasn't even as good as she is. <laughs> it's crazy. Well, you of course went on to win a World Championships, and there's nothing to say that this young lady won't one day as well. In fact, yeah. I'm pretty certain she will. Yeah, she she's, takes the game very seriously. She loves it. She's got an incredible personality. Good kid. Great parents. Winning combination in my book, Mark. She's pretty good on the ice as well. She plays ice hockey. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. Not with her pool stick, though, Tony. <laughs> Very nice. Got a hold of that beautifully. Look at this for a shot. Slow up. Just over hit it slightly, but you take that. Just needs to take a little bit more care here. Exactly. I like what I'm seeing now. She knows this is the key shot to winning this rack. Oh, she's overcut Ooh, it. She jumped, she's she jumped up a bit there, though. A little bit anxiety. She moved, the, she moved the cue stick as she was about to strike the cue ball. Deep breath. 
chance then for the Kiwi. Oh, how well wow. she hit that. Beautiful shot. Lovely stroke, Tony. Yeah, she hit that very... She hit it with authority. Just the way you do, Mark. When you hustle people like me on the bar table. I'm going to have a go at you with my new cue, that's for sure. And it goes. Very well executed by Kim. Well. And it goes. And we're going to go out. But only for a couple of minutes. See you soon. Welcome back, the gloved hands of Dwayne Payne. Close the cue ball for Kimberly Cullen. Breaking off, taking the lead. 2-1 now over Young Savannah Easton. Here we go. Made the wing ball again. Just to remind you guys, we are playing one on the spot. No three point roll with the triangle rack. Call to push out. So she's going to let Savannah see this and hopefully tempt her. I think she's taking it on. This. How does she get to the three though? When you're young and you're fearless, nothing looks hard. <laughs> I would just. just uh, cinch the cue ball a little bit or follow one rail to bottom rail and come back past the nine between ooh, oh that. the oh. nine ball Yo, she wow. almost it in. oh that would have been a lovely little bonus that had the nine ball have gone in and for those of you new to the game of nine ball so i love the way she walks back to her chair nonchalant style <laughs> so long as you hit the lowest ball on mm -hmm. anything else that goes in is fine mm -hmm. and if the nine goes in you win the game yeah, sorry about that, bud. No, that's okay. Nice little combo there. Control the one. Play the four in the same pocket. Try to avoid running into the six. I don't know if she can. Oh, I like what she just done oh, yeah. there. I think, I think, yeah, she got up, right? Yeah, got up. Changed the position of her feet. Wasn't comfortable. For those of you that want to improve your game, if you're down on the shot and you change your mind, get up and start again. If not, you're not going to like yourself too much <laughs> if you lose a match. Been there, done that enough times. Oh, and it's so annoying knowing that, you know, just it's, it, it's a bit of laziness, isn't it? Sometimes we just get complacent. Yeah, that's what I call we? lazy pool, yeah. yeah. 
just to be it's careful. It's a bad habit to get in. Did she go for the nine? She did. She did. And she got, she the, got white. the combo. Well, I think this is definitely, as you say, it's going to be a combo on the nine. Lines it up. It's missable. But not when you play it like that, it isn't. <laughs> Great shot. We're level. Two, two now. So I'm sure Savannah's parents will be pleased. She's back in this game. Yeah, there's a buddy of mine sitting behind Savannah's parents from New York. Long, long time friend. Good guy. Larry Busaka. He used to be the main photographer for Reuters. He took, he showed me his portfolio and showed me personal pictures that he took of Bradley Pitt, Beyonce, any celebrity that you can think of back then. Uh, that's what Larry did for a living. And uh, he decided to stop doing it for a while. And now he's enjoying life, so I'm pretty he happy to see him enjoying life. He didn't become a magician, did he? Because I think he's disappeared. Where's he gone? I, can't, <laughs> he's I don't to see the left him side. He's to the left side of Savannah's Oh, parents. he's moved. He was the yeah. other side of him a little while. He's yeah, he knew you were looking for him. He knows where so you're looking, moved. right? So, Savannah, breaking off. 2-2. Two, two. Race to seven. Our second match of six we've got coming for you today. Makes the wing ball. And look at this one ball. It's going to dress up very nicely. Is it? Or is the five going to spoil a party? Oh. Now, do you jump this, Tony? I think you have to, don't you? Yeah. There's no push out. Safe push out here, I don't think. It's always tough to push out when you have a ball near the pocket or in front of the pocket. Oh, she is playing push. That's a little bit surprising, I think. Maybe she's going to leave the other jump yeah, for her opponent. Good jump over the 9-7. Yeah. Well, she's left a rail first here, Tony. Yeah. She's not going to give that back. She's giving it back. Wow. Maybe she doesn't feel comfortable with it. Oh, that's a big jump, that is. I yeah, think I think I like the mass save. Yeah, I like the mass yeah. save rail first, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't really have to mass save. It's not like you have to do a full-blown mass save. Still needs to get somewhere near the two, of course, as well. Oh, she's Ooh. missed it. Well, what good decision there from Kimberly. I think the key there is when you're playing on the table that slides mark, you must strike the ball softer. To give it more yeah. time to bend before it reaches a rail. So you can get away with bending it right away when the cloth is worn out. But when it comes to, to a brand new cloth, it just slides for a longer period of time. So you need to give it time. Yeah, I love it when you're in the booth with me. Not just entertaining, it's educational as well. You're no slot yourself, my friend. You're super knowledgeable. Just let the cube will go a little bit. Just feeling the heat out there. This is one of those shots I dreaded. I need to make sure I get past that side pocket point without hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> That's why people miss hit this ball most of the time. Yeah, always hits in. Oh, look. Hit to the wrong. Oh, she's lucked it in. She tricked us. Struck that beautifully. Oh, yeah, she hit that great. Super shot, perfect angle. Naturally take her up towards the six. Yeah, just make this ball now. Is it gonna run? Don't fall. She's going to get a nice little touchy sheet. Yeah. Not too bad. Nice little bumperoni there. Enough to uh, have a couple of options here. I prefer to shoot this in the side and go up and down. But some people prefer to shoot this in the corner and just go three rails or even just cinch it and just go off the long rail and shoot the nine in the lower left-hand corner pocket. This is one of those player preference shots. 
Yeah, my preference is the side here, I think. As you said, just all about the weight. Oh, she hit that great. Yeah, but how is the weight I think it's going to come, let's see. Nope, came no. short. That's what that shot is all about. It's okay, it's mm -hmm. that extra little it's roll, makeable. isn't it? It's yeah. makeable. Main thing is she avoided the scratch. She's still at the table. She has a, a shot at the cheese. Overcut. Oh, she's Overcut. done what Savannah did in the first <coughs> rack. Mm -hmm. Of course, Savannah ended up winning that rack still. I'm not sure, though, that Kimberly will end up winning this one. It's a shame Kim Rance has such a great rack there. Oh, this isn't a gimme either. No. Yeah, it was always missable. Let's see where it stops. Oh, she had a bit Are of luck. to get married? Oh, she's Some had a bit of, of a yeah. stroke of luck. That's about the best yeah. she could have hoped for. Yeah. I don't even know if she can cut this in. I'll tell you what, it's not an easy safety either. What about the bank, Tony? Bank or play is safe. Is she looking at cutting this in? See, Buddy Hall, when he says do what's easiest, and I'm not saying you have to do that here, just tap the nine ball and leave it in the long rail. She's going for it, right? <coughs> no, no, she's not safety. Oh, she hit that with just enough speed to get it past side pocket. Yeah, nice, nice shot. But another chance, nonetheless. But I thought the other option was to bank the, the nine ball long top rail and leave it on the bottom rail. That way, give Savannah a long bank as opposed to a cut. Overcut it. Well, I think that is game over this time. Chance to regain the lead for the New Zealander, Kimberly Cullen. Oh, jumped up. You see, but yeah, you saw her bridge, how she started moving her bridge before yeah. she even struck the cue ball. Good tip for you guys watching at home. If you do anything, make sure you stay down because that will ruin everything that you've yeah. done right. It just throws off your line of aim. The trajectory of the ball is kind of like similar to a rifle. If you're pointing a rifle at a target and you start to move your body forward right as you're about to pull the trigger, you're going to miss a target every time. Yeah, great advice there from Robles, the man, the main man. Day one, and there's lots of other games going on at the moment. I saw Alison Fisher warming up. She was hitting the ball beautifully when I was watching her. And let's see if we can find she's playing at the moment. Muramatsu, Sakura Muramatsu. Ho Young Chen is level 2-2 two -two with one of your Great players, a legend of the game, Janet Atwell. I love Janet, good friend of uh, my wife and I. Such a sweetheart. Elul Kibaroglu in action. Ice cool. Kibariglu, I call her. She's so cool. Pia Filler in action. 1 1 with Silviana Lu from Singapore. Aloysius Yaps, better half, Tony. Silviana, she's playing a Pia, I believe, right, Pia Filler? Yeah. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Bethany Sykes is in the house as well. And Christina Zlatevo has just started her campaign as well. She's 2-1 down to Aya, uh, Soldad Ayala. TV.kazoom.com. You can choose which table you want to watch there. Go in and fill out the details and learn how you can watch any one of those tables that I just mentioned. Of course, it's all free on this TV channel throughout the four days. Go to billiard.tv on YouTube. Needs to make sure she said we must be to get past that eight ball. Looking for the the bridge or the rest, as I call it. 
It's a good thing she didn't hit the other side of the eight. It would have stopped in front of the cue ball. She could still have a go at yeah. this natural oh, yeah. angle. Past the six ball, maybe into the top left. Oh, she's overcut that deceleration, Tony. Big deceleration on that. Yeah. Ooh, little scratch there. Another opportunity for Savannah here. It's ball in hand on the five. We'll probably want to shoot the seven in the same pocket as the six, assuming the six doesn't go on the side. Unless she wants to shoot the seven nine combo, which I doubt. I don't see any reason why you should do that. Just draw her across the face. And she's going to shoot in the side. So she. Wow. So she, oh, she's she was trying, trying to, to play steal the side. Oh. Wrong shot choice in my eyes. Yeah, I think that was definitely corner corner pocket. Play the seven in the same pocket. Because if you go across the table and the six hangs near the pocket, you still have the seven nine as a potential blocker. Now she's going to be shooting the combo here, I think. Who's the extension? Yeah, she's definitely going for that combo. As to what she doesn't scratch, she scratched when she tried yeah. a combo before. Hit it with enough speed to leave the cue behind the eight just in case. Oh, hit it too hard though, you see? If you hit it a little softer, ends up behind the eight. Now then, Savannah, an unexpected chance. She'll be pleased just to get back to the table, I think, Tony. She's playing it in the side. Overcut it. Overcut. Oh, has the eight ball gone in? Has the eight ball oh. gone in? Well, that would have counted, of course. Used to Solid. be struck again. Solid. When she stays down, she looks very good, doesn't she? Yeah. Played that a little bit quick. Has that snooker style stance. And it goes. 3-3. Three, three. Now, first round. And we're going to be back in just one minute. I promise it's one minute. I lied, it was just over a minute. But who's counting, mm -hmm. apart from me? So welcome back to the Kamui WPA sanctioned Women's World Nine Ball Championships here. 2023, first event of the year for us. And we're at the lovely Harris Resort and Casino here in Atlantic City. And what a venue it is, Tony. Oh, I love this venue. This venue is beautiful. Yeah, I was here earlier. I was, uh, sorry, last year I was here for the US Open and it was down one level. We're up on the second floor, guys. And if you're in the area, why don't you pop down? There's plenty to see. It's all free to get in. It won't cost you a penny. That's right. You have the amateur championships, the Atlantic City championships going on, the, the 
CSI. Thirty-four Predator bar box tables in use. And we're using. Oh, that's she's jumped up there. Look, a cue come up in the air. Did you see that? Let's have another look at that. Can we? Q just flew in the air. Watch this, look, Tom. Look, oh look. yeah, oh yeah. Almost. It's amazing that six didn't go in. Yeah, right? the six like almost dropped. If she has got an Achilles heel, Kimberly, it's that puts in that quick one sometimes and jumps up, moves the bridge hand, or the cue comes up. So Tricky little shot here, Mark. She hits a ball first. She'll go two rails either into the nine or between the nine and the seven. But if she hits a rail first, she's going to end up on the other side of the seven. Near, she's going to hit near the, the, might even end up frozen on the seven. See how she hits this. Oh, she struck this nice. Yes, yeah, too hard. Too hard, though. Now, do you go for this stretching mm. again? No, I think you, you had to play safe here. You had to play safe, but, you know, when, when you're when you're young, you, you don't know what's hard. <laughs> no, no, no fear. It's like, but sometimes you have to lose enough time. I would be surprised she doesn't play a safe here. Very, very nice. Yeah, intelligent shot. Good shot. She's got the full ball hook. Well, it's the experience that she's gaining from playing in all these events, Mark. I mean, how not lucky because obviously she's working very, very hard at it. But, you know, there's so much opportunity now for these juniors to come and play in these huge tournaments. Yeah. And they're getting so much experience that you hadn't even started playing at that age, you said. Yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. I mean, keep in mind, too, when, when I was growing up, there was no internet. There were only like two, three books that were ever written in pool at that point. <laughs> and now it's like you have a, a wealth of information on YouTube and online. This is amazing. This to take a 4-3 lead. And she does. Let's just go back to the coaching side of things, Tony. I mean, I, I think it's very important to get a coach when you're young, but make sure you pick a good one, uh, one that you can work with, one that likes to listen as well, you know, just because you know the game doesn't make you a good teacher. Now, I know you're a very good teacher. Everywhere I go, people asking me about, you know, how they can get in contact with you, how can they get a lesson? And I know you were doing those clinics back in 2022. I just wondered if you're doing any clinics this year. I am. I have some business cards for you here, so that when they, they, they ask you, you have them. I thought you was offering me a piece <laughs> of chewing gum, but that's a pack of, um, a pack of business well, you, we cards. You're getting very professional. While we're doing commentary. <laughs> You're getting very professional. Yeah, no, I plan on doing a, a, an, a clinic in Michigan with my buddy uh, Ron Sheldon and, and Ron, who and they, they helped me uh, put something together in Michigan last year and I'm very very grateful for that and it looks like I'm going to end up doing it again and I might possibly be doing that clinic depending if we get enough people interested with possibly Albin Ocean David Alcaide and Francisco Sanchez Ruiz wow I spoke to them about it last year I wanted them to become a part of it and uh, they were very interested so if we, if we get enough interest uh, we'll, we'll make it happen these clinics of yours you don't do Ingrown toenails, Tony. What's that? <laughs> Ingrown toenails in your clinic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong profession, my friend. Right, back to the game then. Savannah needs to regroup. She has missed a few, hasn't she? I mean, okay, she's leading, but it hasn't been comfortable, has it? No, it has not been comfortable. She, you could tell she's still struggling to get into that comfort zone. I think it's fair to say as well that, you know, when you're without being, you know, horrible about it, you, when you are one of the lower ranked players, it's not often you get to play on the TV table, mm -hmm. Tony, and it's very, very different, isn't it? It is. I mean, I'll never forget the feeling I had the very, very first time I ever played a match on a TV table. It, oh, I could not believe. Ooh. 
I could not believe how ridiculously nervous I was. Uh, I was shaking. I, my, my hands would stop shaking. Then after a while, you just get used to it. It's just a normal thing. If anything, it motivates you more once you gain enough experience. But in the beginning, I, I can see how it can affect you. Yeah, I remember the first time I played on TV. It was wreck your own. And I couldn't even wreck the balls. Every time I it was on a temper. I believe and, it. and every time I tried to set them up, my hands were shaking so much, I was just spreading the balls all yeah. over the table. I think a little short on that one. Oh, she got away with it. Or does it slide yeah, past I that seven? Go past that seven. Looks like it does from here, right? I think it does, yeah. Wrong angle, though, to get to the seven. So she's going to have to come up with something to get onto that seven ball. Maybe she can just draw it back and leave herself a Yeah, a even if she slid it over by a ball width or two, I think she'll be fine because, if anything, it'll give her an angle on the seven to go across. I mean, it all depends, you know, how she fancies the combo. Didn't fancy it. Oh, she wow. Fancied the combo. Oh, she's had a little bit of a... I th I'm surprised she did that. It looks like she was going for the nine ball. Yeah. Yeah, you would have had to hit that too perfect. There's a little safety here. Yeah. Try to leave her behind the eight. Yeah. Kick and stick. It's not often you see a kick and stick play this close to the rail. Get that cue out of the way quickly. Ooh, fortunately she ran to the air. I mean, she still left her kind of tough here. I, I would consider drawing to the nine. If I don't like the shot on the six to, to get on the seven. even play the bank and the draw yeah oh, she's gone the other way oh she's she played go it. for the bank but the problem with that is if you hit it at that speed you're going to sell out every time now do you carry this is thinly or do you go for the combo it all depends if because the angle of approach from the cue ball to the six ball is such where you have to hit it so perfectly thin that you're literally almost missing the ball in order to gain the you, you're better off going rail first and hitting the six and then Cameraming the nine that way yeah. or shooting the combo, which is just easier. That played it with sufficient strength to make sure she was getting some kind of safety should she miss it. And you can see she's suffering a little bit out there. What were you doing when you, what was little Tony doing at 12 years old? <laughs> Not what I would be doing now. Is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? So now needs a good shot to get all around the table here, Tony. It's not an easy shot to play position on, let me tell you, because even if she went around to go leave the cue ball by the other pocket, 7-9 combo isn't easy. I used to practice the shot so much. I would hit it with pure draw, no spin, and just barely avoid that top rail. Just come back around by, by where the 9 Look how great she hit that. Well thought out played it beautifully seven just off the rail oh, uh -oh. dear oh dear hit that seven so good too but you see the skid, you see the little skid? You, yeah. you, you have to hit it with more spin than you normally would when the table is sliding like that. That way it, it'll skid less because the spin will grab a little more. And this is about the fifth attempt, I think, at this nine ball. Yeah. A few combos and caroms were mm -hmm. <laughs> tried earlier on, but in it goes, and we're level again. 4-4, four, four. we started with a heel heel. I wonder if we're going to go... Hill, hill in this one, racing to seven, of course. So let's bring you up to date. Soldad Ayala, 3 2 up against Christina Zvetaeva. I think Tony Robles is dying next to me. Are you all right, mate? <laughs> Just a little asthma. Uh, you know, I always suffer from asthma. Silviana Lu from Singapore, 3 2 up now against Pia Filla from Germany. And Ho Young Chen is 4-2 up against Janet Atwell. And we 
Where's Alison Fisher gone? There she is up there. No score for you on that one at the moment. How's the break looking? Cast your expert eye across that table, Tony. Hmm. Well, you definitely need to play safe here. If you're going to play safe, I'd rather thin the two ball on the right-hand side and put it parallel with the three, four, and bring the cue ball two rails behind the four. She went for it. Yeah. Well, wow, she got mighty close to it as well. Unlucky. Yeah. Would have had a shot on the three as well. This is one of those situations where you're new to the TV table and you're just in a haze. You don't really know what's going on about you. You're on autopilot. Mm -hmm. but Savannah's been there before. She's played it a few times. You might have just caught a glimpse there, Tony, of Golden State Billiards on one of Savannah's patches. Oscar Dominguez pool room there in California. And Oscar Dominguez's dad, Ernesto, has been here with the crew, yeah. setting up all the tables. Yeah. And a fine job Papa. they've done. Papa. Yeah, I call him Papa. There it is, look, Golden State. Ernesto and I go way back. We used to play against each other in the Pro Tour in the, in the mid 90s, mid to late 90s. What a player he was. Who, Ernesto? Oh, yeah. He still plays a few of the cool. events. Oh, he's judged that. Well, I'm feeling nervous for them because it takes me back to that time I was talking about on my first ever TV table, Tony. Yeah. But it, and it doesn't matter that they don't perform perfectly. It's the experience experience that they're gaining from having the opportunity to play in an environment like this. It's going to help build them for the future. Yeah, I don't, re I don't remember seeing Kimberly on a stream before, but the good thing for her is you only ever have one first time. Next time she'll be more used to it. Look at that nice That's little okay, safety there. Yeah. Use the eight as a stopper. see this place filling up as the day goes on and as the days go on as well 64 players start stage one race to seven stage two race to eight who will get the check the big cheese as you call it mm -hmm. thirty thousand dollars it's a big lump of cheese tony yeah who, who who do you like as a favorite for this event? oh do you know i i did an interview with somebody last night and I said, right, I'll give you my top three. And then I kept thinking of others. And I think there's 10 players here that can, <laughs> yeah, that I can agree. win it. It's hard to pick one. I agree. Nice little shot there if I can. like that move. Little one pocket knowledge there. Can she go rail first? In between the four and the five. Yeah, these, these shots are tricky. She's jumping. So here we're going to see the jump cue. Now the hard part about this is keeping the cue ball on the table. Here we go. We're going airborne with the air rush. Great wow, shot. She so oh, and she's got a lovely perfectly. little kick on the six as well. Well played. Round of applause. Yeah, it was not an easy shot by any stretch of the imagination because th when you're that far away from the ball, you have to hit it with absolute perfect speed. You can't. Hit, you hit it just a tad bit harder than that. Cue ball's jumping off the table. Yeah, you saw it. Then almost. you hit it too soft. You hit run into the five. Yeah, you're right. Great shot. Didn't mean to, have catch to shoot them. the combo now. There's nothing wrong with banking this a bottom rail and leaving the cue behind the eight and the nine, putting the five in front of the seven. It's just when you're this close, four four. I think that's a better shot. Like that. And even if she under hits it, she hit, she hit that so good. But even if she under hits it, at least she's not leaving the ball in front of the pocket. She's she's making Kim earn it. It's 
better to have make someone earn it than to just leave it in just front of the pocket, just yeah. give away a Christmas gift in, in January. <laughs> Christina's Lateva from Bulgaria has come back. I'll tell you what, I've got her in amongst the runners and riders with a chance of winning this as well. Great left-hander from Bulgaria, Christina. Mm. Done quite well in a few of the events last year, Tony. Yeah, I remember watching her play. Very impressive. Yeah, it doesn't hang about either. Strikes the cue ball quite hard as well. Great potter, typical lefty. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's not playing with No, I didn't think she would. I was hoping she wasn't going to. You can run these out. Yeah, you have to go for the run out here, Mark. Yeah. Looked like she was lining it up for a start. I'd have been very disappointed had she have gone for that. I, would have, I might have had a word with her after the match. <laughs> yeah, love the way she played that. Low right on the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Played it very nicely. Beautifully timed. She timed Ooh. that so well. So she nice goes too low. Soft draw, I think, here. It's one of them, isn't it? Do you go round or do you hold it and take a more difficult nine ball? Just tap it in. I, I like going three rails, but if she feels she can hit it full enough to nice, nice, it doesn't like she can hold it. doesn't look like she can hold it. Well, this is very missable. I'm surprised she didn't go round the angles there, to be honest. Yeah. Do you know if Chao Che Yu is here? Yes. She is. Yeah. Didn't she win the, uh, this? Women's Temple. The Women's World Temple. Champion. Yeah, oh, World what champion. a shot there wow, from that Savannah was a great Eaton. Shot. Great nine ball. Good shot for the kid. Well played, and we're going to go for a couple of minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to this intriguing match between Savannah Easton from Las Vegas breaking off winner breaks against Kimberly Cullen who's come all the way from New Zealand. Well, she's made a ball, she's got a shot on the one as well. A, a look at the one, a little bit of a pop on the cue ball there. Yeah. Ball coming down towards the, the two ball. 
Yeah, she's probably not going to hit this too hard. Probably trying to leave it around the area that's set right now. That's a nice shot to nothing, really, isn't it? If she doesn't make it. Especially the way she played it. And I like sending the two ball uptown. And leaving the cube behind the five and the eight. Well, I like leaving it behind the nine seven personally, yeah. but different strokes for different folks. She's gonna yeah. Well you yeah. There you go, Tony. That's why you're number one in the world, mate. <laughs> yeah. Too many monsters for that. Don't have the time like I used to anymore, Mark. The only reason I didn't like going that way, Tony, if you don't get the hook, you're leaving the two ball. That's the only reason I didn't well, particularly I, like that way. I didn't mean it that way, though. I meant hit. don't hit the two that thick. Hit the two, less of the two, so that it's parallel to the 5.8, and the cue ball is like a, a diamond away from the 5.8. Right. It's easier to manage the speed that way. Yeah. yeah you hear that? I agree with you that the way she shot, you have to be more precise, but... Um, I feel very comfortable with that shot. Oh, almost scratched there. Yeah, misjudgment. She's got away with it, though. Quite a few New Zealanders have been coming over. Reached recently. Wow, what oh. a cut that is! Yeah. Oh no, don't scratch. No, she's okay. Oof. That would have been so unlucky had she had gone. That was a hell of a slice right there. Yeah. Took the paint off it, Tony. Mm -hmm. Eight balls on here. If she wanted to really make it a little easier instead of just making the five, eight balls on. Where's the five going to go? Clip off the yeah. seven, maybe. Oh, if it does, she's going to be. It's going to stop in front of the six. Oh, can she see it? I think she's going to have to. Looks she like can. Well, can she? Well, I don't know. Let's have a second look. No, she. I don't think so. Not enough yeah. to do anything with it either. I think she's got to go round first here, Tony. Mm -hmm. Good chance of making it. Oh, she's coming behind it, is she? Problem rail first. You got to make sure you don't run into the six. I think she was hoping to make it yeah even she she talked herself into that mm -hmm. I think she secretly knew it wouldn't but she thought oh maybe yeah I agree oh, well you should Savannah has to do here is just manage the speed make sure she doesn't go anywhere near the side pocket perfect doesn't matter if she's straight and if she's got an angle anyway can play a little stun shot over I think Tony Play the seven in yeah. the same pocket. Mm -hmm. Or she can just run it in and play the... It's just a little slow roll. So yeah. She was a little straighter than I guess we thought. Yeah, played it thick as well, didn't she, to make sure that I wasn't losing the cue ball. So a chance to go on the hill here. And it goes. And talking about, well, we're going to come back. We're going to talk some more, Tony, in a, in a minute or so. Okay. One thing I've got very good at recently is apologising because, try, believe me, I make enough mistakes <laughs> to learn how to be very apologetic. And I've just had a message from Savannah's mum to say, Mark, what are you saying? 
I'm not Filipino. I'm Chinese. Oh. Now, I'm sure somebody told me that she was from the Philippines. I'm so sorry. You they're very good people. I'm pretty sure they're 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 okay with that. You reckon they'll forgive They appreciate me. that. They appreciate that coming from you. She did put an LOL at, at the end of it. It's one of them things, Tony. You can say anything you want as long as you put LOL at the end of it. <laughs> that means you're probably in a good position. Well, let's see if she runs into the eight ball here. I like the speed she hit that with. Well, this is her opportunity to tie it. I mean, to come to within one of tying it hill hill. She needs to get something going now. Oh, she's mm. lost the cue ball there. Yeah. Fortunately, she hit that too low. Pia Filler, 4 3 up. And Silviana Lu. Janet Atwell, 6 2 down now against Ho Yun Chen. And what. Nice little touch. What a, what a classic we've got coming for you at 2 p.m. on this table. Bean Hung against Jasmine Ocean. That is a huge match. Don't miss that. Two I'm not familiar PM. with the other one. Who, who's her, uh, Jasmine's opponent? You know Bean Hung? No. You'll know when you see her. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Now playing for Australia. And she's travelled. We've talked about New Zealand. She's travelled from Australia, so... Hmm. Nice little wow. thin shot that was. Great wow. shot. Jump stick is out. Oh, Mike stick. hit on the way back. Let's see. Now, was that frozen, no, no, that no, ball? No, 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 was it frozen, no, no, no. though? Oh. <laughs> she missed it twice. Well, <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Congratulations, Ernesto and the boys, because that table ran absolutely perfect <laughs> yeah. there. Didn't deviate <laughs> whatsoever, unfortunately, this time for Savannah. there oh she couldn't oh, she's jumped up again and that has been her nemesis hasn't it this match lots of jumping up Tony and that's yeah. really unlucky that has been her nemesis another day that would have missed that point come round and hooked Savannah unfortunately for her though she's left it on Would you shoot a stop shot there behind the air or would you go for the seven? Uh, I think the stop shot, you guaranteed that. Yeah. I'm not even sure she, she can That's why she's this. thinking about yeah. it. She wants to make sure that she makes up her mind before she goes for whatever she decides to go for. Yeah. Clear head. You know exactly what you're going for. She can get through to it, look. Mm. Overcut it. Didn't expect her to overcut it. Wow. Got away with it, though. She's had a result here. Now, there's a chance here that she might kick this into the bottom right hand corner as we looked. Watch for this bottom left as we look now, Tony. What was that, Mark? The oh, she could hit. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. oh, she's gone straight in off. Yeah, that might be all she wrote there. Scratched. So three balls then, seven, eight, and nine. Savannah for a place in the second round. 
This is one of them matches, Tony, where you'll just be relieved to get over the winning line because neither player has played their best. We've seen them play a lot better than this. Mm -hmm. You said you hadn't seen Savannah play before. What's, what's your comments on her on her game? Oh, I, I think she's extremely talented, and I'm, I'm very, very impressed. I, I didn't play. I, I started when I was 13. I, I wasn't even playing in professional tournaments. I think it's very, very impressive uh, how she's come along. Look, see, look at that. Mo mo most kids her age were smashed at 100 miles an hour, hoping they attain an angle and get straight on the nine. She just drew it back a foot just to make sure that she has a chance to possibly win the set here. Yeah, and if you miss very mature thing. Very mature. Oh, straight in the way is a cue oh. ball. Oh, wow. In it goes, the handshake. Kimberly Cullen goes down 7-4 to Savannah Easton. We'll be back 2 p.m. Jasmine Ocean against Bean Hung. See ya.